We are in this together. We will win this together. Corona is a statement catalyzed by this current pandemic. Catalyzed by this current pandemic, the world is going for a global economic, social, cultural crisis. Uh, crisis. Despite the enormous global ramification, art has survived. Art is resilient, art traumatic connector, a universal language. It brings comfort to our eyes and solace to our mind. His Excellency, Mr. Kasamutim GSCK, the second president of Mauritius, Mr. Khalil Abdul Wahid, artist and avid supporter of the arts, my dear artists from Mauritius, friends from Dubai, Mauritius, and all over the world, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is great pleasure for me to welcome you today for the virtual venissage on Corona Arts. We are in this together, introducing 23 Mauritian artists as well as few of our diaspora from France and Malaysia. Isn't it so beautiful to end 2020 on a beautiful art show with colors, emotions, and positive vibes? No doubt the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic and the resulting shutdowns of exhibitions, art fairs, border closure have put immense stain on the art and cultural industry. The virus has forever changed the way we operate, the way we socialize, the way we engage. However, artists has been really productive, creative and innovating during this uncertain time. Myself, I have put forward my six solo exhibition, which was organized by L'Alliance Francaise Dubai. And in collaboration with the EDB, Economic Development Board of Mauritius, we have launched a series of webinars for over two months. As you all know, Mauritius is a COVID-free destination. And I was lucky to be there last month to visit my family and friends. However, the art and culture and scene has been tremendously impacted with the closure of border and travel restriction. Unfortunately, our artists need to sustain and support. Coronat under the theme, we are in this together, is also an initiative, an opportunity for private sectors and civil service organization and art lovers to make a difference by supporting our local artists. Especially now, people are not traveling. So we are all in Mauritius during this festive season. And it is high time to promote the idea of investing in art as an asset. Today, I'm really happy to see people from all over the world, from not only Mauritius and Dubai, we have people from Germany, from Malta, from France, and uh, even from Canada. So thank you very much for attending. This shows your love, your passion and solidarity to support the artists. Now let me introduce you to someone who you don't need an introduction in the UAE art scene, but I'm going to introduce him for our friends from Mauritius. He's an Emirati artist, an authentic art lovers, and a reliable support for Z Arts. And he's a good friend of mine. He worked as the final director at Dubai Culture Authority, but today he's going to address us as an artist and as a supporter of Ziyots. He will tell us a little bit about his experience and how he has, uh, how he see the art scene in the UAE during this time. Khalil, over to you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our special guest, Mr. Khalil Abdul Wahid. Thank you very much, Zahira, and thank you for the introduction. It's really lovely to join you and to be with you. It's really exciting moment for me also to be like, you know, and it's really amazing through like a webinar, we're being able to connect and like, you know, see each other, communicate with each other, even like, you know, each of us from like, you know, different location, uh, far away from each other. Uh, if you go back with the initiative of the Z Art, what you're doing is really amazing to see what you're doing. I'm, I'm so happy also to see how active you are. And that's actually like, you know, more you get active, more you, you push us forward and toward the art to be closer to, to the art. 
um, I, I consider myself like, you know, lucky to meet you in the beginning and to follow what you've been doing and how much you've been supporting the art and the artist. Uh, I remember like, you know, going back maybe to back to 2000, maybe 12, when you start to be so active uh, with the art. And then later on, you did your own initiative and being more active with doing exhibition, organizing exhibition, uh, calling the artists from all around the world. Uh, and like, you know, the beauty of it, like, you know, doing in Dubai is like, you know, we have so many nationalities living in Dubai. So make that a uh, little bit maybe easier for us. But beside that, I was so happy to see how much you were active. You are not just bringing artists who's living in the UAE, you're bringing also artists who are living abroad. And we have a good example, you did a for, for a few or a couple of times, uh, Art Connect, I think for women or art, were, uh, it was all uh, art, all women artists. That was really amazing uh, for like, you know, I think three or four edition you have done. And uh, the amazing thing about it, you had uh, last, I think the exhibition and before that, or maybe all of it, you had 100 artists, 100 country, and like, you know, the 100 uh, artwork and different artworks. So that was kind of amazing join from different nationality in one place in Dubai to see that all artworks, to see all these different nationality and like, you know, and being like, you know, for me, it was really exciting to see like, you know, is how much you're active and good connection with the art field from different uh, nationality or with a different nationality all around the world. Uh, I'd like also to say, say like, you know, briefly of, uh, like, you know, also what's happening during this time in Dubai. I know that the, the pandemic and like, you know, the COVID-19, the fact, all, everybody, in fact, everybody, especially the artists, because uh, it did affect economic and as soon as it does, uh, anything affect the economic, so definitely that has a big impact on the artists. And usually like, you know, people or the way of people they're living, they always look like, you know, they want to have everything for them, the necessary things available, then they look toward the art. And uh, as soon any of this necessary being impact or in fact, the art, that would be one of the things that you might put on the side. But with all this stuff, uh, uh, it was amazing to see like, you know, the people, the artists, uh, passion for the art, even with the COVID-19 did not, uh, uh, let's say like, you know, did not stop them. And uh, going back to Dubai, they stopped what's happened. Uh, it did stop for a while all activities, social activities, let's put it this way, anything it has a gathering, uh, getting together, uh, that was kind of paused, but the art activity itself did not stop. So as a government, as a private, uh, everybody turned toward the technology using Zoom or like, you know, Microsoft team. So the exhibition and activities and talk all turned to digitally. Even like, you know, the main activity that used to happen in Dubai, uh, for example, like, you know, uh, we have uh, Art Dubai, that's a big initiative or big exhibition that's happened or big fair, big art fair that's happened in, in Dubai, uh, basically did not stop. It's the only thing is just like, you know, trying to be like, you know, a digital platform and same thing, like, you know, the art Abu Dhabi they did uh, and plus so many activities. Beside that, there's so many organization and art, artists themselves, they use it as like, you know, uh, a good platform to communicate, to exchange the knowledge, to pass the experience they have through doing again, workshop through the Zoom or like, you know, discussion or talk. And we have a good example as at the moment now is like, you know, communicating and like, you know, discussing about the art uh, initiatives. An advantage of that is made for people uh, easier, like, you know, uh, to contact with other people without moving their place. And I had a good example from my friends uh, in the UAE. They were saying, they were so happy, like, you know, uh, or maybe make it for them easier. Instead of driving two hours, coming from Abu Dhabi, like, you know, to Dubai, to join the, uh, an event or exhibition. So now they come from their home, they can attend, they can watch if, if you have like, you know, uh, exhibition it was, or it was a workshop or either a talk. So basically all the government entity and like in you know, a private sector did turn to the, to, to like, you know, let's say to the uh, to digital platform. But lately, thank God, uh, the life in Dubai is coming back again to normal. And that had also good influence uh, for the field of culture and art. So lately, uh, initiative and exhibition, we start to see it in the, in the real, uh, like in the ground, 
uh, for example, that's uh, an, an exhibition we have, like, you know, we do it like, you know, twice, it happened in Dubai, uh, twice or three times a year, it's called Art Night in the IFC and Circala Avenue. The IFC, uh, a couple of weeks ago, they did it and they extended for two nights. I attended, I was kind of surprised to see the number of people who was like, you know, thirst for art and attending the events. Uh, even like, you know, uh, our people is trying to be away and not communicate with people, but still it was, everything has been taken with like, you know, caution. They have to wear a mask to get this thin, but did not stop the activity of life. And again, there's so many different organizations and uh, galleries, they start to come back again to life. And this past uh, week, uh, there was, uh, I personally, I did attend like, you know, three or four events that has been taken on the, on the, on the, on the ground itself. I'll stop over here so I don't take more time and uh, we'll discuss when anybody has a question. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Khalil, for your inspiring uh, uh, words and for your encouragement. And thanks again um, on behalf of Zihad. I would like to thank you. Um, Any times we call you, you are present and your support uh, really appreciated. Now, I remember when I was at school, we had him as our chief guest of honor to raise our flag during the Independence Day of Mauritius. Humble, charismatic, and a wonderful social worker. He entered into politics in the year 1969, a real leader elected as Lord Mayor of the city of Port Louis. He serves as the Minister of Unemployment, then as a Minister of Social Security and National Solidarity. In 1992, he was elected as the President of the Republic of Mauritius for nine consecutive years, making him the longest serving president of Mauritius. Post-presidency, His Excellency has since been very active in the field of international public policy. He's currently one of the vice presidents of the Club de Madrid, member of the governing council of Interpeace, member of the African forums and founder member of the Global Leadership Foundation. He's also the honorary president of ATD, Fourth World International Tea, and the list goes on. He was awarded the first Mauritian insignia of Grand Commander of the Order of the Stars and the Key of the Indian Ocean, GSCK, the highest di- distinction of the land. He also holds honorary doctorates, hor- honoris causa from the University of Mauritius, the uh, University of Buckingham from the UK, the University of Aix-en-Provence, France, the University of Tananarive in Madagascar, and the Jamia Mila Islamia University from New Delhi, India. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hand together to welcome His Excellency Kasamutim. It is indeed a great pleasure and honor to welcome you today and to honor this coronet. We are in this together. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you very much for this uh long introduction. I'm grateful for your very kind words. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Khalil Abdel Wahid and distinguished artists, I'm delighted to be associated with this uh, virtual art uh, exhibition, Cor- Corona Arts or Corona Arts. We are in this together. Yet another initiative of Zahira Buti, curator and founder of Z Arts, which is, as many of you would know, an international art organization that connects artists from across the world through artistic projects, including art exhibitions and fairs. I understand there are currently more than 600 artists registered with her Z Arts gallery based in Dubai. She has, over the last decade, organized over 35 exhibitions, including World Art Dubai, Tatelis Art Fair in Singapore, and Carousel du Louvre in Paris. Defined as a passionate artist activist, Zahira has actively supported women, women artists across the globe, as you have just heard. And among her numerous activities, among numerous initiatives, Towards that end, 
is the Art Connects Women, which is an international women's art exhibition, first held in 2017, that has seen, that has seen this year's fourth edition, inaugurated on the 5th of March 2020 at one and only Royal Mirage in Dubai. The exhibition brought together and connected 100 women, you said it, Mr. Khalil, 100 women artists from 100 countries of all the continents to celebrate the creativity and passion with which the women artists express themselves through artworks. Last year, she organized for the first time in her native island in Mauritius, which she has never forgotten, which has never left, left her, the Mauritius International Art Fair the MIAF at the Coda Art Center as a multidisciplinary contemporary art fair with the aim of enhancing the art and cultural scene, as well as positioning Mauritius as the ideal art and cultural destination of the Indian Ocean region, and incidentally, as a tourist attraction. It met with roaring success. And were it not for the COVID-19 pandemic, the second edition of MIAF would have been organized this year also. However, what is deferred to say is not lost. And Zahira is confident that she would make it happen next year, inshallah, God willing. Zahira has put up several solo exhibitions. The latest one in August this year during Dubai's lockdown, which showed her artistic passion through the creation of some, 400, so some 40 art pieces that revealed her emotions, her changing moods, her states of mind. One art critic found that Zahira shared, I'm quoting her, I'm quoting that artist, that, sorry, that art, art critic, Zahira shared positivity with her vibrant artworks during these pressing times her aim being to spread hope, joy, and encouragement for anyone who feels under the blue." End of quote. Zahira is the recipient of several awards. After winning the Mauritius Oscar de la Jeunesse in artistic pursuit, in as early as 2001, she went to back the prestigious award of the Leonardo da Vinci Universal Artist Award in Florence, Italy in January 2019, winning in the same year the Femina World Women Leadership Award Artist Category in Mumbai, India. Mauritius is proud, really proud of her, of her achievements and her commitment to art. Although comfortably settled in Dubai, she speaks with great fervor of her country and constantly endeavors to promote the work of her fellow Mauritian artists locally and internationally. With this initiative, this initiative of holding a virtual art exhibition, introducing some 23 Mauritian artists, Zahira wants to show that despite the propagation of the coronavirus of pandemic proportion, art has shown, as she said himself, its resilience and has survived. The objective of Corona Arts we are in this together, is also to support, to support the Mauritian artists through global platform, through a global platform. In the concept note, Corona Arts is described as a paradigm shift for helping Mauritian artists to sustain themselves. For many people, it goes on to say, social distancing and the lockdown have created the psychological, social, cultural, economic, and environmental impact. Self-help is the key for an art world during this pandemic. Whilst artists are resilient and they have been creative, productive, and innovative. Finally, Corona Arts is an initiative meant to reinforce and encourage private sector, private sectors, civil society, and NGOs geos to make a difference and to invest part of their corporate social responsibilities, the CSR in arts, 
as an asset for the respective organizations and the country at large. I once again wish to thank Zahira for her kind invitation and to congratulate her on her commitment to art and the successful organization of Corona Arts. We are in this together exhibition. I have now the immense pleasure of declaring open, if you allow me, this virtual art exhibition. And I thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, sir.
Thank you very much, Abby. Um, now, um, let me say a few words about Abby. He's an artist himself, and he has, uh, I would like to thank you, Abby, for having put all these efforts to beautifully um, craft this uh, virtual exhibition for us. It's a honor for us to, to, to see it, and I'm sure you all enjoy it. And now, um, I would like to... Thank you very much. And now I have a few members from the yacht uh, who can say a few words. So voila, we reach at the end. I just uh, wanted to say a few words um, before we close this. Um, thank you very much to all the artists. The exhibition will remain available on our website, theartsgallery.com. You can have access to it, share it with your network, friends, art collectors. Um, last but not least, as His Excellency mentioned, and now today we have also the honor to have Mr. Nanda Narainen, the creative, the head of creative department from Economic Development Board. He's, he's, I mean, the Economic Development Board is our main partner for MIAF, Mauritius International Art Fair, and we are going, inshallah, forward with MIAF second edition next year in May 19, 2021. Please stand up. Yeah, I'm very glad to be with you, amongst you uh, this evening uh, for this virtual uh, art exhibition. And as you can see, uh, in spite of all these constraints that we are having, but we're still able to connect with you people. So as I said, don't miss it. I'm sure we'll be doing great things uh, this coming year and hopefully uh, for the benefits of all the artists in Mauritius and around the world. Thank you. See you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I must say, can you hear me? Yes. 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 I must say that this has been a fascinating and unique experience. I have been sitting at, at my desk and visiting your gallery, uh, Zahira, uh, admiring and appreciating all the different uh, work of art of the artists. Kudos to you and to all of them. Congratulations. And thanks also to Mr. Abi and the technical staff. I wish you well. So that, that was a real pleasure meeting, like in His Excellency uh, uh, Kasem Mote, and like, you know, uh, the team and the, all the artists over here. It was a pleasure to be part of this, this kind of discussion. And like, you know, and have kind of this uh, e-gathering, let's say it. It was uh, really again, and uh, I'm looking forward for your new and uh, next initiative uh, with Zahira. <laughs> it's a good example also showing like, you know, for me as that like, you know, also Mauritian is kind of like, you know, mix of culture and different people. And that's also like, you know, what make it closer to us because like, you know, in the, in the UAE we live like, you know, so many people from different nationality is part of us and we are part of them and living in harmony and see, that's what they see also in the Mauritius. Like, you know, everybody like you know, from different nationality root, but they're living together, it seems one family and that's make the world come closer to each other and to understand each other much more and better. So it's really lovely meeting all the artists, like, you know, from Mauritius and, like, you know, seem definitely from different, like, you know, uh, uh, countries, let's say it also. I invite, you to, I invite you to visit Mauritius. Definitely, it will be with the pleasure, Your Excellency, and I'll definitely, I'll do that. I'm, be I'm, looking I'm forward sure to he will come from Yaf yeah, next year. Bismillah, <laughs> bismillah ta'ala, inshallah. A few words. Yes. So it's a real pleasure, really, to be, meeting uh, collectively everybody, sharing our artworks. Thank you very much, Zaira, for uh, adding all this up, putting this together. Though we have got a very hectic and busy schedule, um, we made it and it is really very amazing to be working, to be sharing our imagination and creativity all together because this is what artists do. Artists create, but most of the time, if people don't appreciate, it doesn't have that zeal and enthusiasm and energy to really create for them all. So it, it, it is a very inspiring uh, online exhibition. I think everybody is motivated. So I just uh, motivate everybody to keep on creating. Though you, don't, you sell or not sell, that's not the problem. But creating and sharing your culture, your values, your feelings, your emotions, this is very important. And this is what ties us all around the world. And uh, we are, though we are in different, in di difficult situations, 
we are in it and we are going to surpass and we are going to achieve excellence thank you very much I want to uh, just want to thank uh, his excellency khalil and uh, zaira for putting all of this together as well i was trying so much to unmute and i don't know why it didn't work <laughs> so but um very very happy to see this um, online exhibition for all my mauritius artists which are the lovely country i have been for the first time at miaf i was admiring a lot what has been exhibited uh, last year and it's such a pleasure to see all of you here and uh, i'm very um uh, delighted to see also that uh, the president, His Excellency, is also uh, very supporting and sharing and understanding the, the all this uh, work which has been behind and all the art uh, importance on the during the Corona that Sahiha has made has highlighted a lot here. Thank you very much, and uh, yes, uh, I'm looking forward for the next month. Miaf. Thank you very much. So once again, Happy New Year. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.